Internal Revenue Service Investigation Department is Officer Andrew Morgan. How can I help you today? Yeah, yeah, I got a call here to call this number right back. All right. Did you receive any reference code or any case ID number, sir? No, I didn't. It just said to call back and threaten to arrest or something. All right. Since you haven't received any case ID number, you need to help me with your full name and your mailing address so that I can pull up your file and see what exactly going on in the name. Yeah, my first name is Imus. I M U S. I M U S. S, as in Sam. Imus. Imus. And your last name? Uh, Cammer. K A M M E R. Cammer. K A M M E R. Yes. Are you sure you got that right? K A M M E R. Imus. I'm sorry? I am U.S. I am a camel. Right? Yes, you are. All right. And your current mailing address, sir? I'm currently living at uh, 1400 Timber Oak Drive. 1400 Timber 1400. Oak Drive. Camel, wow. That's in Amarillo, Texas. And your zip code, sir? 79109. 79109. Yes. Seven. All right, sir. Please hold on for a while. And let me pull up your file and see what exactly going on in the name. I'll get back to you soon. Okay. City to do running wild and looking pretty. Hot child in the city. Okay, Miss Cam Mr. Camel. Yes, this Hello? is Imus Camel. Yes, yeah, Mr. Camel. As while going through a file, I found that there is a case of tax evasion filed against you. And also, there's an error warrant issued out in the name. Are you aware of the situation? No, I'm not. And, and yeah, what, what's your name? This is Andrew Morgan. Officer Andrew Morgan, holding BATS ID IBR70239. That's, I'm sorry, what was your bitch ID number again? It's IBR seven zero two three nine. Seven zero two three nine. Okay. Well, as you know, here in Texas, when we're going to do business, you need to call me by my first and my last name, and I will call you uh, uh, Andrew Morgan. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. So, what is this about, sir? All right. Can you, can you please grab a pen and a piece of paper? Yes, I did, I need to uh, give Andrew you some Morgan. More information. Yes, Andrew Morgan. I wrote down your name and your bitch ID number. All right.
right. Please write down the case number. It is IR Internal Revenue 7986. Internal Revenue uh, 7986, okay. This is your case number wherein you are the defendant and we are the plaintiff, the IRS. So before I go ahead, I just want you to know that these lines are being recorded and all your statements will act as an evidence against you or in your favor once we play this recording in the courthouse. So please be honest over the recorded lines. And also I want you to, and I want you not to interrupt me when I'm giving you the case information. Once I'm done giving you the information, I'll give you a fair chance to speak, okay? Um, okay, Andrew Morgan, that sounds fair. Um... Yes, just make sure you address me by my first and my last name because that's the way we do business here. Okay, sir. Coming back to the keys, there are some allegations pressed against you. Count one, it is violation of Internal Revenue Service Act. Count two, it is giving wrong and misleading information to the government authorities. Count three, it is tax evasion. Your, your taxes for the past year were audited and it was found that there were lots of error and mistakes on them. And this error and mistakes have led to miscalculation of $5,975,000 in your taxes file. I'm sorry, $5,975,000? $5,975 in your tax file. When this error and mistakes came up for the first time, we have sent you some documentation to correct this mistake. First time we have sent you some letter. Like, I never got CP. any documentation or letters or anything. Hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. I'll give you a fair time to speak. Let me complete first, sir. First time we have sent you letters containing CP11A, and the second time it was. Wait, wait, CP what was that number again? CP11? CP11? CP11A. And oh. the second letter it was CP. 2000 CP2000. All right, CP2000. Right. This letter contained the information about whatever mistakes were found on your taxes, but we never re received any response from your side, so hence we have to file a lawsuit against your name. So, so once uh, Are you sure you sent it to the right person? Yes, sir. I'm speaking to the right person, sir. So, once I'll get this call disconnected, I have to send a team of police officer to arrest you on the charges. And once you'll get arrested... Arrested? For, for what? Next... For the... I have two lists. So please hold on, sir. I'll give you a chance to speak, sir. I'll give you a fair chance to yeah, speak. Yeah, but I, I can't get arrested. The... That's what, sir. I'll tell you. I'll give you a chance to speak. Let me complete first. So once you'll get arrested, you'll be detained for yeah, the next three Yeah, but I, I can't get arrested. That wouldn't be a good thing. I know. That won't be a good thing for me, too. Because I don't want you to get arrested. So I want to, you to resolve the case as soon as possible. If, if you want to do, if you wish to resolve the case, then it's good for you. So, so let me complete first. Let me give you the details about the information. All right, sir? Yes, okay, uh, please address me by my first and my last name, not sir. This is business. So, once you get arrested, you'll be detained for the next three days over the first court trial. And if you lose your case in the courthouse, then all your assets like a bank account, house, properties, homes, bonds, and shares will be seized by the Homeland Security. Wait you'll a minute, just for $5,975? Yes, so five thousand. How could they take? How could they take all dollars. millions of dollars worth of stuff for only five thousand? This is not a lot of money. That's what this, but it's rule. It's a law, sir. Please don't call it's, me, I sir. Didn't... Call me Imus Cammer. Sorry, Imus Cammer. Yes, you are. It's a law, sir. You can see that they, we can't take this on that. It's against the law. So please hold on and let me speak. Okay. I'll give a chance. I told you, I'll give a chance to speak. Okay. Once you'll get arrested, you'll be detained for the next three days. And all your, if you lose your keys in the courthouse, then all your assets like a bank account, house properties, bonds and shares will be seized by the Homeland Security. 
you have to pay a penalty of thirty-five to forty thousand dollars. You'll be in prison to seven to ten years. So what you're gonna seven do now? Seven to ten to, years to for a lousy stop. six grand. Yes, sir. Seven that's to only ten that's years. that's nothing. The six thousand dollars is nothing. I don't understand how you could be doing this. I I have plenty of money over six. I need to call my 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 uh, CPA. He must have made a mistake. That's what we have found a mistake, sir. That's what. So it's a law no. Yeah, every, but you're saying I'm going to get arrested. Then what kind it's of mistake gets you arrested? And don't call me, sir. Call me Imus Cammer. I'm a scammer, so listen carefully. Even me, I don't want you to get arrested. I want you to resolve this case as soon as possible by today. As there is an arrest warrant issued out in your name, as once I'll disconnect this call, I'll have to send a team of police officer to arrest you because the arrest warrant will get activated once the call is disconnected. So please. Try to understand me and please hold on while I'm giving you the case information. So what you going to do now? Do you want to resolve this case inside the courthouse or outside the courthouse, sir? No, I, I can't go to the goat house. Uh, I, I can't do that there. I mean, uh, why would I over over six thousand dollars? I, I mean, I could just go to the IRS office or get a hold of my CPA and, and, and just give them the money and everything should be fine. That's what, sir. Even it's not even six thousand dollar, right, sir? But the law it's for everyone. It's not just for you. Though your CPA might your CPA CPA might have made the mistake, but the mistake is law is for everyone. You had to pay. You had to pay. You had to owe owe IRS. IRS I owed five thousand nine hundred seventy five thousand dollars, and the law it's against the law. You'll be you have to pay. Five thousand nine hundred seventy-five thousand dollars to the IRS. If you are ready to pay, if you are ready to resolve this case, then I can get your call connected to my senior division headquarters. I'm not authorized to pay, to solve this case for you. So what are you gonna do now, sir? Uh, just you know, pass me on to whoever so I can get this resolved. Only, only if you are ready to resolve the case, I can get your call connected, Mr. Amos Camel. Yes, uh, you are. Um, yes, uh, I, I, I have the five thousand nine hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. That's not a problem, right? But before I get a call connected, make sure that you cannot, you shouldn't hang up the call on me, and you cannot make any sort of third-party conversation. A third-party conversation is co is considered as an offense over the recorded lines. Even your family member is considered as a third party over the record line. So please, sir, please hold on. I'll get a call connected to my senior supervisor. All right, so when you're saying no third parties. Yes, sir, no third party. All right. Thank you for being on hold. Your lines have been transferred to the division head of the Internal Revenue Service. My name is Sarah Wilson. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah, hi, Sarah Wilson. Hold on, let me write Hello, down your sir. name. Sure. Sarah Wilson. Yes, my first name is Imus, I-M-U-S. Okay. And last name is Kammer, K-A-M-M-E-R. All right. And, and what's um, your I would like address? I'm sorry? The mailing address, sir. Yeah, it's 1400 Timber Oak Drive, Amarillo, Texas. Camarillo Drive. C-A-M-A-R-I-L-O, Camarillo? Amarillo, Texas. That's the city. The state is Texas. Okay, 79109. 79109. Okay. So you said it's a Camarillo, C A M A R I L O. Camarillo is a city, right? No, Amarillo. A M A R I L L O. That's the city. That's the city. And what's the street name? Uh, 1400 Timber Oak Drive. 
Is it C-A-M-B-E-R, Camber? Timber, T-I-M-B-E-R-O-A-K-D-R-I-V-E. Oak Drive, all right. 1400 Timber Oak Drive, Amarillo, Texas, 79109. Okay, as I'm checking your files at this moment, Iman, I see that there is a case of tax fraud that has been filed yes, against ma'am, your ma'am. name. Uh, I have a for- thing, Miss Sarah Wilson. Uh, yes, sir. Um, yes, when when we do uh, here in Texas, we uh, when we do business, we address each other by our first and last name. So I will be addressing you as Sarah Wilson, and I would like you to address me as Imus Cammer. Sorry. I'm sorry. Can you say that again? I said yes. Here in Texas, when we do business. Like we're going to do, we address each other by our first and our last name. So I will be calling you Sarah Wilson, if that's okay with you. Okay. And I would like to be called Imus Cammer when you address okay. me. Can you read that? Can you read that spell? Can you spell that name for me? I M U S, K A M M E R. All right. What is that that you have to say, sir? No, you you're going to continue uh, with with uh, what I have to do to to settle this lawsuit. You'll have to get a lawyer, sir. Uh, that lawyer costs a lot of money. I don't. I, I really don't want to pay a lawyer. I, it's very little money. This is only uh, five thousand nine hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Can you tell me where? Uh, what time is it in Texas now? In Texas right Can now, I- it's 440. It's not 440, it's 540. Yet, the IM is camera. Don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. Randy Kabachi. Randy Kabachi. Tum Chorni Ho. Ben Chod. Mata Chod. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. You little rundy bitch. <laughs> you heard in the background, I'm a scammer. <laughs> it was pretty good. I hope you enjoyed it. I didn't get any meltdown, but she was a smart one. She figured it out. I think I said it too, too quickly, so she figured it out. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one. It was pretty good. Bye, everybody.